the university is focused on how this gets used for educational workforce. From the beginning of education, portfolios have been made by people to show their credibility and accomplishments. As technology has matured, we found ways to now move that information, move those tools online. Wasco is talking about e-portfolios. He moved to Alaska to establish a campus-wide program at UAA. There are a number of initiatives around the country that really focused on how you might use this technology in support of education and training. Wasco says think of it as a resume, then times that by a lot, because you can use an unlimited amount of tools to create a digital brand of, well, you. I mean a particular piece of software that allows you, the owner, to do things such as uploading documents, uploading reflections, files, content. In other words, creating like a personal museum. E-portfolios can serve multiple functions to help you showcase your work online to help you find a job. To demonstrate that you know how to use the skills you were taught. And to show progress as early as elementary school. So that's where the electronic portfolio comes in is it's a deeper set of examples that allows me to showcase these knowledge, skills, and abilities to a potential future employer. UA is currently in the beginning stages to implement the ePortfolio program and hopes to expand the initiative across the state. We as an institution are best serving the needs of students in the community, and that aggregation can be a portfolio. Reporting in Anchorage, Pearl Grace Rasmussen, your Alaska Link.